not only the names are familiar, but uh, nowadays we can, you know, started recognizing ourselves with the voice, isn't it? <laughs> so, yes, Maya. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so the moment you know we could uh, listen to the voice, we can recognize who uh, you know is there on the other end, though it's a participants or uh, uh, you know the panelist. We all are recognizing each other. So, I mean, honestly, not getting feel of uh, into a workshop, but uh, having a feel that. Uh, uh, you know, we have been interacting with each other, meeting with each other online. And uh, this is just another day. One more day of having an interaction. So uh, welcome you all in the second session. I hope you all are ready. And uh, you can indicate your readiness by saying yes in the chat box. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Nice. Um, we are into UHV2. Uh, Lecture-wise, uh, interactions are there. So the lecture three talks about uh, continuous happiness, prosperity, and the basic uh, aspiration. Um, we discussed, and we are in the process of understanding all these concepts within ourselves. So let us explore. You know, you have various desires. You have a desire to buy a car. You had you have a desire to become vice chancellor of your university. You may have a desire to be the richest person in the world. You may have a desire to have a bigger house than your neighbor's house. You may have a desire to have this right understanding and right feelings within yourself. You may have a desire to do many things for the others. You may have a desire to do many things for yourself. Out of all these desires, what are you expecting for? Let us say by fulfilling your desire of becoming vice chancellor, what are you expecting? Let us say by having that luxurious, comfortable car in the parking, what are you expecting? So each time we are expecting to be happy, to be prosperous which means we want this continuity of happiness and prosperity. And I hope that you know, we all are able to see that our basic desire, our basic aspiration is for happiness, prosperity, and its continuity. Whatever we think, whatever we do, with an urge of making ourselves happy, prosperous and to ensure the continuity of it. Any, any sharing, any input on it? Any, any, one, any single desire you have is not for the happens. Yeah, microphones are there, hands are being raised. You can participate. Pardon, sir, it's not for? Yeah, Nirvala ji, I, I mean, we are just exploring within ourselves that is there any single desire we have which is not for the happiness? By fulfilling that, I don't want to be happy. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> nothing should no. be. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. So it's, it's as simple as that, right? Everything, whatever thoughts I have, whatever the actions I do, I aspire to be happy. So our basic aspiration is definite. So what do you think? Our desires are limited, unlimited, definite, indefinite? Our desires are definite, Ji. Nice. Are definite. Very nice. Anybody thinks that desires are uh, desires unlimited? Are yeah. But once we complete one desire, we will think of the next one, next one, like that we will move to the next level. But the ultimate aim is we should be happy and make others also happy. Yeah, so I may have like hundreds of desires. <laughs> yeah. You know, I complete one desire, then I have, I get another desire, then I get another desire. What you are saying is right. But even complete in the process of completion, and you are after completing, I want to be happy. 
so is it important for us or not that all of my desire what i'm having in my list leads to the continuity of happiness or not let us say for example you know having this luxurious and comfortable car in the parking will it lead to the continuity of happiness if i no, become the vice chairman no no sir no it cannot it may if be become... exactly yeah. yes if i it become the... be a continuous yes if i become the vice chancellor will i be by becoming vice chancellor will i be continuous happy if i get recognized as the best person in the world let us say that jury award <laughs> will i will, uh, that award that recognition will help me to ensure the continuous happiness no one time one time exa- uh, excitement it cannot be a continuous happiness it means it means if we make list of all of our desire and if we start categorizing it into how many of those are going to lead to the continuity of happiness how many of those are will not be able to ensure the continuity of happiness but maybe a momentary excitement yeah. then it would help us to have the clarity on our own desires whether we have set a right desires or no not right desires right prabhakaran ji yeah ji we might have set the right desires but the thing is the ability differs so we may not be uh, achieving all the desires to the practical condition so we will be failing in some of, i mean we will not be able to reach some of the desires uh, but uh, few of the desires we will be able to meet and uh, happiness may be permanent in very few cases but mostly uh, we will not be getting the permanent happiness yeah so the important thing is that in most many cases if by fulfilling those desire will not lead to the continuity of happiness and prosperity which means my those desires i need to rethink up you know i need to reevaluate because what i want to be is happy what i want to be a prosperous and let us say i am investing 3 years of my time to fulfill my desire and at the end of that if it is just a temporary happiness excitement i am going to have is that the right desire for me so this one thing you know the exploration continuously within ourselves that what i really want to be what is my natural acceptance what is my intention so let us say an example we always want to be with the feeling of relationship so if i have the desire of sometimes opposition sometimes relationship with such desire will i be able to ensure the continuity of happiness and prosperity so we have this natural acceptance for the relationship but when we check the list of our desires when we see you know what sort of thoughts and what sort of expectations we have then sometimes opposition and even for small small thing you know in the morning i got up and looked at my spouse and she just smiled at me why she has smiled like this me what has gone wrong such a small thing right i mean one person can smile at another person but the moment we in, do that interpretations of the smile we try to take out the meaning of that smile that depends on my current state my competency and at the level of my competency i have this opposition sometimes i have this feeling of relationship sometimes are you able to see to it that whenever you have desire thoughts and expectations guided by relationship within you you are in harmony whether the behavior of the other is favorable or not favorable but your desire thoughts and expectations are guided by relationship you are in harmony are you also able to see that whether the 
behavior of the other is favorable or not favorable but whenever you lack the desired thoughts and expectations of relationship you are in disharmony that's create contradiction so my unhappiness is because the contradictions within me i am not having that clarity what i really want to be i am not having clarity on my basic aspiration of continuity of happiness and prosperity and because of that i may have many desires which may not lead to the continuity of happiness and prosperity and such desires are creating contradictions within me and that is how i am getting into the unhappy state of unhappiness but i want to be happy so are you able to see to it you can quickly raise the hands yes minu didi whomsoever has raised the hands you know we'll keep interacting sir i am able to see it and experience it most of the times nice so who is responsible for your happiness sir that i understand i am only responsible i also understand it is my own contradictions within me but i have i i still become unhappy sir if others say something or do something which is according to me not in my favor so who is responsible for your unhappiness me only sir <laughs> very nice very nice it is so the moment we are able to see that there is a gap between what i really want to be and what i am ji yes, sir correct sir you know the moment there is a gap i am in the state of contradiction i am in the state of unhappiness with it right the moment i am able to see that what i really want to be and what i am are aligned with each other i am in a state of harmony with it so for this a continuous discovery within is required a continuous exploration of what i really want to be keep asking this question to ourselves every moment what i really want to be what are my intentions what is my natural acceptance with such sort of continuous exploration let us verify where are we at this moment what sort of desire what sort of thoughts what sort of expectations i am going through with if we do this continuous evaluation of having internal dialogue within ourselves referring to our natural acceptance this would help us to have this feeling of harmony within ourselves continuously and that is basically the state of happiness what i am and what i really want to be are the same they are in in accordance with each other let us say let me see who has risen the hands uh not able to see the list yeah maybe you know you can unmute yourself namaste bhaiya shalai bhaiya yes namaste bhaiya bhaiya i do agree bhaiya with one of my friend because of my past experience i was having a feeling of opposition whenever i just remember his name or his face i get into contradiction that way leading to unhappiness bhaiya but after the uhc program for the past one year i am feeling very comfortable in spite of his behavior of acknowledging my call or acknowledging me acknowledging me so there i could really feel it bhaiya whatever may be his behavior i am feeling the comfort inside that way ensuring my happiness this <laughs> is a first time nice. experience with myself bhaiya <laughs> very nice didi you know so even just when we recall the name of someone we have so much of opposition within right and when that opposition is within i am not able to be in the harmony so that all that oppositions i have accumulated the thoughts the desires i have accumulated that is you know basically uh, basically putting me uh, in in 
uh, disharmony. But oh, yeah, you know, an but 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 you know another very important thing uh, through Gita Didi's uh, uh, you know, input we can think about. Like yesterday, I had this feeling of opposition for somebody, but mm. at this moment, I may not. I may have a feeling of relationship. So my yesterday's state and my today's state, or my last moment state and my this moment state, differs. But generally, what happens? Once we have this feeling of opposition, because we are not able to see the relationship, so we keep evaluating the other person based on the previous you know, experiences and not able to see that as my state, you know, the current state is fluctuating. There is possibility that the other person's current state is also fluctuating and he may have a feeling of opposition, but he may have a feeling of relationship at this moment. Yes, so thank you, Didi, for that. Bhaiya, let me add one more thing also, Bhaiya. Uh, yep. When I am in the feeling of contradiction or when I am in the feeling of opposition, Bhaiya, with my body also, I could feel, Bhaiya, I could feel myself hard, Bhaiya. Yeah, so it will happen. And that's the reason you know, we are able to see that most of the bodily diseases are psychosomatic in nature. Yeah, the stress and all because of that, Bhaiya. That also I'm able to get uh, very clearly, Baya. Yes. Thank you, Baya. Thank you. Thank that's you. it from my side. Thank you. Thank you. And that's, uh, that's yes. Yeah, sir. So, <clears throat> I would just like to share that uh, I uh, have started, uh, you know, staying happy most of the time. But then I realized that uh, people also take undue advantage of that. They started taking me for granted that uh, she won't be affected. So it really doesn't matter. So now I have developed another program for myself that although it doesn't affect me, but I pose, <clears throat> excuse me, I, then I pose that it does. Uh, just like, you know, um, on the outer surface so that uh, people realize that what they're doing is wrong. Because earlier it had started happening that I would evaluate, you know, I would uh, see the uh, competence level of the other person and I would not react or respond. And um, I started staying happy within. So uh, that also people start taking for granted that uh, do whatever she won't be affected. So now, although I'm not affected within, but I have started posing a little so that they realize that what they are doing is not something correct. So I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing, but uh, I just wanted to share it. Very nice. Can I portray that I am unhappy when I'm happy with it? Uh, so I'm acting, <laughs> sir. I'm kind of acting. I, I, I know that I'm, I would start thinking that, okay, I should make a sulken face for a while so that the other person realizes that what the person said wasn't, uh, you know, um, a good thing to say. But inside, I'm okay. Because I feel like, uh, you know, this is this person's way of thinking. And I expect also that this is what this person would be doing. It doesn't affect me, sir. But... Uh, okay. I, I'm just uh, acting. I mean, I was just thinking that is that also something right? Should I be acting like that or I should just keep smiling all the time? <laughs> okay, very nice. Okay, so let us, uh, you know, uh, revisit the definition of happiness where, which was proposed uh, many times in the past. Uh, quickly see to it. Happiness is a state of harmony with it. My own desired thoughts and expectations are harmonious. They are in according to my natural acceptance. I'm happy. So when we say happiness, does the perceptions of our happiness is shouting, screaming, dancing, laughing, you know, a kind of things uh, which are basically the excitement or the, the stability within, the comfort within the state of relax within. So whenever my current state is in according to my natural, naturally desirable state, my natural acceptance, I'm in a harmony. So our natural acceptance is for the relationship. And my desired thoughts and expectations are also guided by the relationship. So I'm in harmony. And in that state, even someone 
passes a comment which is not a favorable so i would have that harmony within myself and i will try to help other i want to make other happy right each one of us wants to make other happy now tell me how you are going to make yourself happy what are the essential things are required to make yourself happy you can quickly respond in the chat box what makes you happy satisfaction makes us happy sir first point our expectation uh, our expectation we are thinking that our expectation is not met out then we are unhappy ultimately so we should uh, know how to solve that that's all we need some maturity that's all very nice very nice so as you know geeta ji has responded and many other have responded in the chat almost same thing but in a technical word that right understanding and right feelings makes us happy so we also wants to make other happy which means when we help them to have this right understanding and right feeling that way only we are going to make them happy so the happiness is the state or the situation where i live if there is harmony if there is synergy i am happy i am in a state of harmony whenever we have opposite things you know the feeling of jealousy within the feeling of opposition within we are forced to be in the contradiction we do not want to be in that state so simply you know we can see that whichever the state we you know we want to continue even to the next moment that state is happiness so the continuity part is important with that we also discuss prosperity in the previous sessions prosperity is basically having this clarity that the need of physical facility is the need of body which is temporary in time and limited in quantity and having this correct assessment of required physical facility with quantity and the quality both and producing it more than our requirement by using the right skills and the sustainable production is basically the prosperity so this is a small lecture lecture number 3 focuses on definition of happiness focuses on the definition of prosperity and when we discuss this lecture sort of uh, questions are getting generated a sort of similar questions uh, may get generated uh, in uh, students or whomsoever you know we are discussing for example how can a meaning of happiness be universal who would like to answer to this question you can raise your hand if now this is a question right this is a question for us there is a possibility that this may be question for the other may be question for the students who are sitting in our classroom and if they ask how can meaning of happiness be universal what will be your answer you can raise the hands Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, what I feel is, uh, <clears throat> whenever somebody is happy, uh, he want to continue in the same state, and. Uh, the expression level also everybody will be having same expression uh, of happiness so even if it is uh, age wise or geographic uh, geographical location wise or whatever it may be irrespective of who he or she is <coughs> the state in which he is uh, happy will be same for all yeah very nice <coughs> So as we know, we are, you know, uh, drawing our attention towards our natural acceptance, and natural acceptance is universal. And whenever I am able to live with my natural acceptance, I am happy. So similarly, whenever the other person is able to live with the natural acceptance, he will be happy. In the natural. Right. So such things, you know, we need to uh, look within now. The more and more we focus within, and try to get the. answers for our own questions 
we could help other to find out the answers for their questions. Now, this is another question being asked many times. How can happiness be uh, same for everyone or how it could be universal? Another sort of questions we may get in this lecture that everyone in this world is working for the own happiness. You are working for your happiness. I'm working for my happiness. And they may give like, you know, 10 different kind of example, uh, like magician is getting happiness by music, a sports player getting happiness by playing sports. So is it not right to say that everyone is selfish in the world? How you would answer to this question? Anybody would like to take a try on this? Uh, yeah, yes, um, Patil Bia. हाँ हाँ आप नमस्ते एक्चुअली मतलब एक मिनट सुनिए भैया मतलब दिस इज अबाउट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आल्सो कि वेयर नो कैन वी गो ऑन द सेकंड क्वेश्चन हाँ ओके ठीक है एक्चुअली माय क्वेश्चन वाज ओके the second question is that uh -huh. everyone is working on their own happiness uh -huh. so is it not right to say that everyone is selfish in the world uh, no because actually pur purpose uh, if we see our uh, uh, basic uh, aspirations uh, the to be happiness itself is, is uh, our basic aspiration and if we are working for that we cannot say that it is a uh, selfish in fact uh, uh, through this process uh, we are working for uh, Happiness of the others also. So in fact, we are trying to spread it. So we cannot say that uh, to work for our happiness is to be selfish. Yeah, nice. You can respond to the poll as well. Uh, yeah, see yes, the yes. moment. Yeah, thank you. So the moment we get uh, clarity on the purpose, clarity on the basic aspiration, then we can see that you know there's a common things for each one of us, and by that uh, you know common thing only we can be happy. Without the clarity, there's a possibility that you know, I am confused myself with what happiness is. And then, you know, I may have that personal goal. But when we start looking into it, that whatever my personal goal is, the continuity of happiness and prosperity is the same goal for the all. So each one of us has a common goal. And there's a common way to achieve that common goal, having this right understanding, feeling and uh, relationship within and with this clarity only we can understand the self and by fulfilling the needs of the self we can be happy so the uh, true meaning of the word selfish can also be understood let us look into the third question uh, such discussions on the prosperity when we say having or producing more than required physical facility identification of required facility have been there for the ages and still people are accumulating and uh, exploiting other uh, number of you know complaints on the um, scams of corruptions and like this so can it be ever resolved let us say professor meena dr r uh, thank you sir would you like to take up this question uh, definitely sir so this is where what I personally feel is uh, in attaining the happiness, which happens to be the um, universal uh, I mean, uh, cause of every human being, whatever the desire we have, whatever the path we follow, this is where the human values comes into picture. We should not deploy the uh, facility of others, the right of others. Uh, then if you are to move in this path to attain the happiness, I hope uh, the third question that is where uh, the prosperity has been getting accumulated for uh, the ages uh, by exploitation will not happen. All right, thank you. Uh, let us listen from Rabindra Kumar Bhai also. Namaste. And I request, you know, once you have done, you can lower down your hand, all of you. Yes, Rabindra Bhai, go ahead. Namaste. Uh, as, as per the, the question number three is concerned, uh, so, uh, if I do not uh, able to understand uh, how much I require uh, my participation uh, of myself as well as the participation of others, 
how can we uh, access others so definitely there will be identification of my requirement so how much i even i will not be satisfied with, i may be satisfied with uh, one pair of clothes so what is my requirement i have to identify the need and then only i i will think about uh, uh, the, 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 the the prosperity you know, the feelings uh, you know, that, that is important so, so this much uh, i was thinking yeah i mean very nice the moment i am able to identify the need of my body and i take efforts to you know <laughs> producing it or having it more than required more than that required needs with the right skills this issue is resolved for me so similarly the issue is going to resolve by having this correct identification of required physical capacity for the others too good morning sir so, so that is that identification is very important all right due to the time constraint yeah is i request you know i mean the microphones are being provided to everybody i request to all to unmute yourself immediately once you have done and you lower down your hands immediately once you have done yeah someone was talking something yeah good morning sir this is deepa yes. panikel here yes deepa ji namaste Uh, sir regarding the third question when we were discussing uh, i have always felt that uh, uh, when we talk about uhv we need we always work with the idea that nobody intends to exploit and deprive so uh, can this be resolved it can be because end of the day uh, i personally believe as a human i wouldn't want to go ahead and harm someone same is the case with somebody else so if only their right understanding and competency were nurtured they would never choose to do that so uh, understanding the fact that we wouldn't want to do it in itself is the biggest step and hence i believe that uh, once they know what prosperity truly stands for then it should not be a problem that's one thing i wanted to add to yeah very nice so this uh, clarity on the intention along with uh, the competency yes. both are required and uh, with uh, you know the combination of these two uh, we will be able to uh, do the assessment of our required physical facility will be able to produce more than required and we will be able to nurture other with the extra so both these things are required uh, the clarity on the intentions and uh, the ability and the competency to fulfill the intentions so thank you for uh, for this session 